Morning all. All right, so we've got an early game today in the National Hockey League, but we have other hockey to talk about as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, coming out of last night's game between Edmonton and Dallas, uh, the Oilers not very happy with the fact that they're not getting power plays against the Dallas Stars. Uh, they've had three power plays in the first two games. Dallas has had a total of six. They had five in the first game, one in the second game. The reality is that once we're in the conference finals, power plays always drop by a lot. I've talked about it before. I've said that I think the rule book should be called throughout the whole season. It just generally doesn't work that way. And the standard for what is or isn't a penalty definitely changes as the playoffs go along. I think that that helps teams that are really defensive as well. I think that definitely aids because you can probably get away with a hook or a hold. And so I think it does cause the scoring to drop a little bit too. Might be part of the reason why scoring was dropping towards the end of the season as well. Uh, it's just it's one of those things. Uh, the Oilers are going to have to win the series 5-on-5 five five in all likelihood. Dallas isn't a team that takes a lot of penalties either. That was talked about before the playoffs even started, how little uh, in terms of power plays teams got against the Dallas Stars when they played them this year. So we'll see how things go in Game 3 tomorrow in Edmonton, but... Yeah, they're not very happy. They, they're they watching their words because, of course, they don't want to get fined by the NHL. But it's clear that they're not happy with the lack of power play opportunities. So PWHL news for tonight. Uh, Minnesota can win it. They can win their first ever championship, which would be the first, of course, championship for the PWHL. They had over 9,000 fans at Excel Center. Um and for anybody who wants to say, well, that's not that impressive. I don't know. A league in its first year filling over half of the uh, the Excel Center, that's not bad. Again, it's in its first year. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. And so we'll see what the crowd's like tonight. But for Minnesota, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's nice to see fans of Minnesota win something. Uh, because Minnesota, if you follow all of the major sports in North America, it's been a tough time. Uh, definitely been a tough time. So, yeah, we'll see if they close it out tonight. If not, Boston forces a deciding game five, since this is a best of five uh, at home. So we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, London yesterday beat Drummondville 4 nothing at the Memorial Cup. So London staking their claim to being the best team in this tournament right away. Uh, Saginaw plays Drummondville today at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. So that should be an entertaining game as well. Saginaw, of course, the hosts looking to go 2-0. Drummondville need to bounce back from that loss yesterday against London. So that'll be interesting. Uh, getting back to last night's action, Jake Ottinger, and I am wearing my Ottinger jersey. Uh, he is now second on the Stars' all-time win wins list in the playoffs with 22 wins. He's behind only Ed Belfour. And Belfour, of course, the goalie who was uh, in, in net for them in 1999 when they won their, to date, only Stanley Cup. So we'll see how many more, how many more games Ottinger wins over the next few years. I mean, maybe he wins seven more this year. Just throwing that out there. But anyways, whatever happens, uh, Ottinger's been fantastic and seems to get better as the playoffs go along. Uh, at the World Championship today, uh, Czechia will play Switzerland at 2.20 Eastern, so that's 11.20 a.m. Pacific. Uh, should be a very entertaining game between two countries that weren't expected to be in the gold medal game. That tells me this should be very competitive. You will have no lack of effort. Whereas in the bronze medal game, you had Sweden and Canada, the two that would have been favored to be in the gold medal game. And Sweden wins that game 4-2. to two. Um, Seeing comments about Bennington's play in the tournament not being where you want it to be. Uh, people talking about Tavares towards the end of the tournament and his play tailing off as well. Sweden outshot them, outchanced them. So uh, Sweden gets the bronze medal. And again, uh, this is part of the reason why uh, for, for people in Canada, it's not necessarily... Uh, followed as much because then the answer from Canadians would be well yeah but look at the guys who aren't there which I mean and I know I know if you're a fan of another country like, well other countries don't have players there too I know but that's that's the prevailing uh, belief so yeah uh, congratulations to Sweden on the the bronze medal and uh, it should be great for Czechia or Switzerland Czechia hasn't won the gold medal in quite some time and Switzerland's never won a gold medal so maybe today's the day uh, starting at 3 o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific, we have the only game in the NHL today, which is the Rangers in Florida. This will be kind of fun having the game over with early. Like, I could go to a movie tonight. I'm not going to, but I could. Uh, 3 Eastern start between the Rangers and the Florida Panthers in Florida, of course. The Florida Panthers get a split in New York. Now New York's going to be looking to at least get a split in Florida. You have to, because otherwise you're going home down 3-1. 
Uh, for the New York Rangers, they're going to be without VC. He's week to week with an upper body injury. He suffered likely on a hit in the last game. Uh, Trocek, seven goals, nine assists, 16 points. Roslovic, two goals, five assists, seven points in these playoffs. Uh, Trocek's been fantastic throughout the playoffs. Roslovic, more prominent than the seven points would tell you. And I've got Gustafson on the board because he was all around it. Could not quite hit the net last game. He has three assists in these playoffs. I feel like he's due for a goal. Igor Shesterkin, a 928 save percentage. And just to, just to get Ranger fans' attention a little bit, they've called up Othman. So they called up Othman from the minors. Uh, we'll see if he's just an extra to watch or if he's going to get put into the lineup at some point in this series. On the Florida side, Sam Reinhart, five goals, four assists, nine points. Kind of quiet so far in this, this series. Uh, Verhage, eight goals, six assists, 14 points when he needed a big goal. Carter Verhage is usually the guy that can get that for you. Uh, Ekblad, four assists. He's also a plus seven in these playoffs. I think Ekblad's played well. Bobrovsky's save percentage keeps on climbing. 9-12 save percentage. The Rangers are going to be looking to bring that down a little bit. Uh, Florida and the Rangers both playing their game. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, we do have four teams left that are perfectly fine with playing defensive hockey, uh, relying on counterattacks, playing a 1-3-1 type of style of hockey. And so, yeah, don't be too surprised if this is a low-scoring game. Might see some overtime as well. Part of the reason why I'm glad to see the game starting early today. So let me know who you think is going to win the game today in the comment section below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on any of the other items on the board as well. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.